Hi everyone, I'm Steve and welcome to my channel. Um, today we're going to, it's a balmy, going to be balmy 28 degrees on April the 5th. Um, so very warm today. Um, we're going to have a look at our update on the seeds that I planted on the 23rd of, of March and to see how, they, how they're how going on and see if we can uh, pop them up now or later. Uh, here's the, it's the seeds that I planted on the 23rd of, of March. Um, um, this one's a, a sugar sugarloaf cabbage. Um, they're like a coneheed cabbage. Um, and beside that we've got uh, a Ranfley F1, which is like a, a mini cabbage. Uh, they're quite hard, quite hard. And, and beside that, uh, we have some broccoli. Um, um, they need to be um, potting on soon. Uh, uh, they're getting quite, quite big. Um, and over here we have some cauliflower, which is uh, called snowball. Um, let's see if we can get some cauliflower just before winter same with the cabbages and some broccoli hopefully um, we'll get some uh, um, next beside that we've got some spinach uh, which doesn't look like it's, uh, it's um, sprouted too well we've got two two come up but uh, the rest didn't uh, sprout yet um, Beside that, we've got um, some onion seed that I planted up. There's, you know, there's two row uh, row there with called uh, gladion white, which has really come up really good. Um, beside that was uh, sweet Spanish, which is just a few stragglers coming in. Um, and beside that is. Hunter River Brown, which um, hasn't appeared, there's one sort of poking up here. I don't know where you can see that or not. Um, beside that, uh, we've got uh, Italian Long Keeper. Um, these are all um, bulb onions. Um, I'm trying to um, grow them and and I might pot, uh, pot them on or, or put them in a, uh, a tray, a uh, cubby tray there just to put them on through winter to see how they go um, if not uh, we can if, if we're not getting success with that we can uh, put some in um, in, in, in the winter then and, and we'll get a second crop of spring onions so hopefully it'd be, be all all good um, so over here we've got some more onions coming up uh, these ones I don't know what they are they're just the seeds um, that it, was given to me and uh, they're all sort of poking up and out there so I'm going to try and grow these on as well. These are the as I uh, planted about three weeks ago um, in the ground um, that I grew from seed. Um, these are called, what are they? Um, I think these are called Great Lakes. Um, as you can see they're coming on nicely and hopefully we'll get them hardened up and have some lettuce before winter which is really nice with some sandwiches and stuff in. Yeah so they're coming on really well. I'm pleased with that. Control sort of working so that's good. Carrot seed that I planted um, on the 27th of March. Um, they finally uh, poked through. They're called Scarlet Nance, and uh, they're, they're poking up through the ground now. So that's good. Uh, we have some nice carrots for um, just um, in the winter time. Be nice to eat. 
uh, nothing longer carried out of the fresh out of the garden. I don't know where you can see that or not, but so you can see them coming up. Starting to poke through. The celery's getting quite big. Uh, you know, just have a look at the stems on those. There's three plants here. Um, seems to be ready to pick to eat. Very nice. Um, uh, onions, uh, you know, they're getting ready to, uh, might leave them a wee bit longer yet, but they're ready to pull out of the garden and put some more compost in the garden uh, so I can uh, maybe plant some more um, seeds and stuff or plants in there. This is the mandarin tree that uh, we draw for, and it's, it's called. Oh, what it's called? Uh, oh, Sumatra. Yeah, Sumatra dwarf. Yeah, uh, we had a few off it last last year. We got about uh, twenty odd off it last year, but uh, I've sort of grown a bit there and starting to starting to ripen up. So soon we have some fresh mandarins. Nice. There's quite a few on there. Have a look at these uh, strawberry plants that I grew from runners. Um, they're getting quite big. Um, these are called Albion. Um, um, I soon I'll have to transfer them out of this 500ml drinking cup and uh, put them into. Uh, maybe I might put them into a 10 litre uh, bucket. Uh, as you can see, um, there's another plant there. Still got a, still got the runner on it attached to, and it's growing another one in the and another tin uh, and drinking cup. Um, I'm just waiting for the roots to be established on this one, so I just can trim the um, runner off it, and uh, hopefully it'll get a bit bigger. But uh, I don't think there's any roots coming out the bottom. I'm not oh, starting to, but not yet. So uh, I, I might leave it in a wee bit longer, then uh, see if we can. Uh, transfer them over um, just before winter um, so we can grow them through winter um, still getting the odd strawberry well, that's you know that's juicy mm. Mm. very nice but it's, uh, it's the update of the seedlings and uh, how they're grown and that uh, Hope you enjoy watching and the updates of the of my channel and hope you uh, give us a thumb up and subscribe and uh, I'll see you in a couple, of, a couple more days. Cheers.